Okay, today we're answering the question of how to organize your study space. So basically it's a question of how to clean your area or clean your room, or clean your office, or like how to arrange things in your study space so you get warm work done. So organizing study space, right? And the key question here is, does it matter, right? Does it matter, like obviously, Okay, between like a dirty study place and a clean study place, clearly some level of cleanliness helps a little bit, right? I've intentionally not cleaned up much in my room right now before starting this video because I was like, okay, what does my work environment look like right now, right? And right now it's at a level at which it's coming close to the point at which I would clean it, right? So I clean my like room around every one week, so once per week that kind of thing, right? And by the time it gets to like Friday, so let's say I clean it on a, a Saturday, right? By the time it gets to around Friday, Thursday, Friday, it gets to the level at which I'm like, okay, it's starting to get to a level at which I can register the level of kind of mess in my room and it's starting to affect me, right? So that's a, it's kind of a spectrum, right? And all things like, as the law of entropy says, go from clean to messy, right? And it just depends on what level of mess you can tolerate. So, and that's gonna be arbitrary for whoever it is. So let's say it's right here, right? So when it gets there, I'm gonna be like, okay, let's clean my room. That's like, that happens to be about once a week for me, right? That's like a, a level of cleanliness tolerance. This is, this is actually a, um, a personality trait, like, Psychologists have actually measured this and it's like a disgust tolerance thing. It's called like orderliness or something. There's actually a personality trait associated with this thing, right? I think it's broken down. If you're a psychology nerd, you'll know this. It's conscientiousness broken down into orderliness and industrial industriousness, something like that. If I'm remembering that correctly, apologies if I'm wrong, but that's actually a personality trait. So you'll be different. People are different along this spectrum of, okay, this is too dirty, I need to clean up before it affects my my mental well-being, right? But generally speaking, I'd recommend cleaning a room every now and then because that often kind of brings you to a state of clarity, right, in your space. And often when things are, you know, when you feel burned out, when things feel a bit heavy in your head and you feel like there's too much going on, Often doing something like cleaning your room or having a clean space in general will contribute to that clarity, right? Contribute to that feeling of like, okay, at least the room is clean, right? Maybe I've got a lot of work to do, but at least the room is clean and that can, you know, allow for work to be done. And that's my second point here, right? So point two is about functionality functionality, right? How do you organize your room best to do work? Is the stuff that you need in convenient places, right? Is stuff organized in the right way so that you know exactly where it is and how to go and get it, right? For example, I know if I need a pen and paper, I know it's in the drawer over there, the top drawer, right? I know exactly where it is, right? So you need to know where things are where things are, how to get them, and you know what is in that place. Things like this, right? All these different questions we can ask ourselves. Do you know the answer to these questions, right? And here's the thing. It looks different for everybody, right? Organized might look different for you than it would be for me, than it would be for my brother or my friend or whoever else you ask. It depends on what you like and what suits you. Right, so the way that my space is organized, I'm standing up if you can't tell, right? I don't have a chair that I'm sitting down at. I'm, I can move around and things like that. My laptop is on this like kind of like tower-like structure on this like stand as well. So it's facing me like this. And so it's a bit of a weird environment. I've got this mic stand here. I've got this, the lighting set up here. And, you know, I've got my bottle of water here and my phone is here and a pen there and my keyboard down here and... You know, I've got stuff in the background as well. My books there. Like, I have my own way of doing things in my life that makes it more convenient for me. The way that I like doing work, right? 
So it might be worth you taking some time in your day to organize things. If you're gonna be sat here every single day, every single time to do the work, you might as well do it or make, make it so that you can do it in your favorite way. So it's more convenient for you. So it's more productive for you, right? And that's what it is about really, convenience. That's the name of the game here. Convenience and what that kind of uh, allows for is consistency, right? If something's more convenient for you to do, you will do it more, right? If it's messy, if it's like, if you don't like your space, then you do it less, right? If it's less convenient for you, you do it less. And that, of course, it, that just makes sense, right? And so that's the, that's, those are the two steps really, right? It's the level of cleanliness you can tolerate. And then there's the functionality of your room itself, right? Knowing where things are and having it set up so that you actually like being there. I guess that's something I, need, I can write down as well. Something that you, um, how do I say this? Something, I guess just something that you like, right? A setup that you like, right? That you look forward to coming down and sitting down at, at the end of a, maybe you go out and you come back home and you're like, ah, oh, my room. I like my room. I like the way things are set up and I like working in my room, right? So for example, I record a lot of these videos. Things are set up so that I record these videos in an easy way. I like recording these videos and so I don't have to like set up the mic every single time. It, it's already here. The camera's already there. The laptop's already there. Everything's done and it's just kind of like, it's easy for me to go into doing work, right? And it's, I like it. I like it a lot, right? And so if you can get to a level where you're feeling like that, you like your workspace, it's more convenient for you to get things done and it's at a level of cleanliness that is tolerable for you, right? And notice I don't say like it has to be clean, spotless every single time, just tolerable. And you'll know because it will kind of creep into your mind like, mm, it's a pile of papers over there. It's kind of like pissing me off a bit. So if, if you're feeling like that, just go clean that up, right? And if it's a general like entire room kind of creeping in your mind feeling, then clean your entire room, right? That's what I just happen to do every week and that just works for me, but with you, it might be different, right? So to conclude there, this is the best way to organize your room. And notice I haven't said one specific thing. It's dependent on who you are and what you like, right? So number one, it's unique to you. Number two, it's cleanliness and how much you can tolerate in cleanliness. And then number two, sorry, <laughs> number three would be the functionality. I've numbered these in different ways, but you get the idea. Number three would be functionality. Knowing where things are, what is there and how you want to get to them and if it's convenient for you, because if it's more convenient for you, you're more likely to do it. You'll do it more, right? And that's the whole purpose and the whole point of organizing your room, as Jordan Peterson says. And that's probably one of the best kind of, I remember making a video about this a very long time. I made a video two years ago, one of my first videos ever, and I was talking about the lesson from Jordan Peterson. And I remember that and it was very, it's very cringy, I saw it, I looked it back at it recently, it was very cringy. But yes, <laughs> let's not get distracted. Those are the ideas. I hope that helps you out. If you follow these um, little tips here, I can promise you that this will definitely help out in your life because it's it's such an easy way to like make things easier for you to do in life in general. Not just studying, not just work, just easier for your mind to be at peace with the world. So hope that helps. Thank you for submitting questions. If you want to submit some more, first link in the description below, you can submit some comments on the community page there and I will happily answer them just as I have this one today. I like exploring topics like this and they are very nice to think about. So yeah, thank you for that. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Knowledge is power and the power is yours. Rambly one that. <laughs>